it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I'm back again today with another great haul video. So I've got items here from a recent trip to a flea market. Now they do call it an antique store. So I'm not sure why they do that, but there are booths in there and there are antique store prices. Either way, I went there a few months ago and there was this milk glass bowl that really caught my eye and I think it was about $19.99 or something like that. And at that price, I thought, I thought it was a great, great pickup, but I didn't get it because I wasn't sure in the, in the moment of the age or anything like that. Well, I was quickly kicking myself because in the comment section of that video, people were telling me that it's older and I did look up and I found out more information after I left about it. Oh boy, so somebody's currently trying to sell it on Etsy and I'm about to show you the bowl for around $65. Anyways, yesterday's video you saw that I paid $9.99 for it because it was still there. Here it is. This is amazing. Now, this is old milk glass, though it doesn't look the part, but it's made. it was made in 1885, no, 1884 to 1891. So very short run by the Challenger, Challener, 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 that's the word, Challener, Taylor Company, <laughs> ah, that's a mouthful for me. So there it is. So it's really awesome. It has these flowers all on the outside of it with all this colorful work. It's just beautiful, it's embossed. So it's embossed with the painting done on it. And then on the inside, there's actually some flowers, some flowers too. There is like a straw mark on the bottom from when it was made. Uh, and it's like a little line that you can see on the bottom and no other marks like no other makers marks So it's just fantastic and I could not believe that I got it for so cheap. I uh, So I don't know if I'm gonna sell it or not because I like it so much, but it, look at the color. Just it's wonderful so um, Yeah, I haven't decided if I do sell it It's going to be for right around the price that you can buy it from somebody else for on eBay on Etsy so um, uh, Look at that, isn't it just lovely? Mm. So that is the first item and I immediately went back to that, um, the booth that I knew it was in and I found it. It was hiding in the corner, the bottom corner. Okay, I also got this little squirrel. This is a little squirrel figurine and you can have these where they hang on the wall to look like they're climbing up this, the, the wall. They came in this size and then also like a larger size and I've sold both multiple times. They're, they're great sellers, it's ceramic. It's a ceramic squirrel. And this one right here, I'll put in the Etsy shop for about $20 with shipping included. And I think I paid, uh, was it five? I think it was like five, uh, $6, I think it was. Paid $6 for it, but that's fine. You know, it, it should sell quickly for me and I, I like it. We have trees all around and I get a kick out of the squirrels myself. So I, I tend to gravitate towards squirrel items. Okay, these items here, I have to tell you, they're so cool and kitschy. Look at that, it's this little deer. And I have a pair of them right there and they're like in this pink and blue coloration. There is a sticker on the back, which is fantastic because I don't think I've ever, I would have been able to find out who they were by. It says Bernard's, Bernard Studios, manufacturers of ceramics made in California. So it's a pair of them, which I'm so happy about and they were $2.50 each when I bought them. I'm going to put these together on Etsy and sell them for about $40 with shipping included. And I double checked the prices on Worth Point and they are, when, they, when these come up, they do well. So I don't think I'll have a problem with that. They're very unique looking, very, like I said, kitschy, mid-century, retro, just all, all the above. I love the colors too. So that's fantastic. Also at the antique mall, oh, I, I didn't mention this, but I have a few things here that I picked up from a flea market, an actual flea market, they're calling it. Um, so antique store and a flea market. But this is still from that same mall and it's marked on the bottom made in Japan, but I thought it was really cute. It was like little expression on his tongue hanging out. So that will go up for probably about $24 with shipping included. It's a nice, good size. It's a good size figurine. Um, so there's that one. Now for the thing that I knocked over. So let me pick it up here. 
So this is an Indiana glass hen on a nest in this really fun bright green. It's an iridescent glass. Uh, you could call it carnival as well if you wanted to, but I don't. It's just this iridescent, well maybe I would call it carnival glass, I don't know. It's, it's not what I would think of whenever I think of carnival because it has a lot more, it's more of the, that effect of it, like a over it, than it is like a heavy carnival glass. So it's a really pretty, very bright apple-y green color. No chips or cracks and I paid $5 for this at the flea market. I will sell this for about $28 to $30 with shipping included on Etsy. Um, but Oh, it's beautiful. Look at the color on there. Mm. I might go a little bit more. I, I haven't looked at the prices of these hens on nests in a while and I'm not entirely sure about that shipping because it, it does have a little weight to it. But yeah, I thought $5 was a great price to buy it at so I did it. Um, this is the last thing over here from the antique mall and the rest of the haul will be from the flea market. But I could not pass up this. It is one of these, it's metal. It's a Kleenex or a tissue dispenser. And there's like a little poodle and then the Eiffel Tower is right here. They also came out with a matching trash can. And I did look up and I saw that uh, I don't remember if it was, I think it was this and a trash can sold for about almost $70. So I, in this case, I have the tissue thing and I have the plastic matching cup. This I don't see as often. So I'll put the two together and it may go for about, with the two together, anywhere between $30 and $40 with shipping included. Yeah, I think that'll be good. But, oh, it's just so cool. So that will go on Etsy soon. Okay, now the rest of this is from the flea market. I bought the pair of these for a dollar right here. There's, um, what are those birds? Um, peacocks. There are peacocks on it in the 24 karat gold, which is so, like, I don't know. I guess there was a moment in time when like that was a huge thing. 24 karat gold. Um, I don't even know, like, is how much, there's not that much gold on there. It's not like you're going to scrape it off and go cash in. Um, so it says the art of the choke art, the art of choking metal engravings from Japan are created by the ancient art of choking or chokin, chopping, choking gilded with gold and silver. The engravings were originally created to decorate the or armin armament. Ah, oh, what armin armament of the samurai warriors made in Japan. So this is the vase and it has the, like the little birdie on there. And then it come, it came with the little trinket box. And it's also marked on the bottom in this one, Action Made in Japan. So it's made by the Action Ceramic Company, I guess. But a dollar for the pair is what I paid. I'm gonna put the pair of them up for around $30 with shipping included. And they tend to go for that. So. Yeah, thought that was kind of a nice pickup. And there's no chips or cracks on that. I also could not help but buy these little Ivy salt and pepper shakers. So I was trying to look up close to see if they they were hand painted or printed. And I my eyes are not that high resolution to know. Um, I, oh yep, I can see little dots, tiny, tiny little dots. I think it was printed. So uh, printed meaning like a transfer wear. They're really pretty, they're dirty, I gotta wash them off, but there's no chips or cracks on them and they are marked Japan on the bottom so they have a little age to them. But they honestly remind me of like the 90s, so I don't know, I'm not used to seeing Japan items from the 90s, but I wouldn't think that these were from the 50s, no, the 60s, no, the 70s, no, the 80s maybe. So 80s or 90s I'm thinking on those. Oh, I'm going to put about $20 with shipping included. I have to pull out the old salt and the pepper out of them and wash them up, but they are beautiful and then they're, they're just in great shape. Great graphics on there. This little figurine I just had to buy. Um, it's sort of different. His eyes are hilarious. They're like cross-eyed and he's holding like a weird looking stick. It is marked on the bottom. Um, 
oh yes, Top Line Imports Japan, number 10 of 143, so it's limited edition, but there is a small chip right on his ear, unfortunately. It's not a huge chip, but it's there. And, um, I, oh, and tiny little one on his whisker. I just thought it was unique, really cute. I'm gonna throw that up for about $20 with shipping included. I don't even know what kind of dog that is. It's, it's a strange looking one, isn't it? <laughs> oh, this is the last item right here. So this is a little bit different, but it's one of these like 1980s kind of a hanging macrame. Is that macrame? Well, I don't know, it's just braided and stuff. <laughs> Look at that. It's really pretty, honestly. So I paid $2 for that. I think I'm gonna put that up for around 30 or so dollars with shipping included. It's very bohemian. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I think that's worth that. And we've got like this, whatever that's supposed to be. It's all like, it's like fluffy. So, and there's like a big one down there. <laughs> oh my gosh, but that is all the stuff I have to show you today. I'm super excited about this. I'm really, Oh boy, I could not believe that it was still there. I mentioned it enough in yesterday's, uh, was it yesterday? The other video. But with that, I'm going to wrap up this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.